Judaism believes in the Torah, and we do too. The Torah is the first, specifically speaking, is the first five books of the Bible. Another very common question I get as I'm out and about and run into some very beautiful people in the world that don't know much about Judaism, and they stop me and ask me various questions from time to time, those who are brave souls at Walmart, you know, and they'll say, can I just ask you a question? And so one of the common questions I get is, what Bible do you guys use? And so just to break it down, again, uh, I'm assuming there are Christians who are watching and those who are here tonight. What Christians refer to as the Old Testament is the Bible, is the Bible, okay? That's the scriptures. That's the, the we call the Tanakh. Uh, in Hebrew. We'll talk about that in just a moment. The first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, that's the Torah. That's the Torah of God. That's the law of God. That's the law of Moses. So just as an example, this is something that you can, uh, again, if you are a Christian, and this is something you could dazzle your pastor with, uh, and they'll think you're a rock star. When your pastor is talking and he's teaching a, a message from the book of Genesis and he says something, well, that was before the law was given. You can raise your hand and say, well, actually, Genesis is a part of the law. Genesis is a book of the law. And he'll go, what? Where did you learn that? And so that's true. So Genesis is a book of the law. It's a book of the Torah. So here's some synonyms for the Torah because when people talk about the law of God, they very often think about the law of Moses which is the same thing. The law of Moses is a name of the Torah because Moses received the law from Hashem and he communicated it to the people. And the only reason that happened is because when we were gathered around Mount Sinai in order to receive the Torah, we heard God speaking and his voice was so awesome. We said, Moses, if we hear God speak anymore, we're going to die. You go and talk to him because <laughs> we were so compassionate. We sent him. It reminds me of David when he was bringing the ark from Jerusalem. And remember, he had brought up on a cart and it shifted and Isaiah reached out and touched it and Isaiah died. Our, David said, oh my goodness, this, this is too dangerous to have the, the ark. So he gave it to a Levite and he said, here, you keep it. Because <laughs> David was so compassionate. So the law of Moses, the word of God, the will of God, the wisdom of God, the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Writ, these are all synonymous terms. So when you're talking to a Jewish person, and they're very common, and we get so used to it in our lingo because, you know, when you're in a culture, you're used to talking. We say Torah, 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 and people are like, what's the Torah? And the Torah is very simply the Word of God. It's God's Holy Word. 